Hey there everybody, this is Shango and this is ho -O. Uh, it's actually the second uh, attempt to actually catching ho -O, believe it or not. Uh, the first attempt is a blooper reel, you can find it in the uh, video responses or as a link in the video description. I'll do both because yeah, nobody ever reads anything in the video description anyway. Uh, but anyway, this uh, Ho-Ho, it's level 45, it has the ability pressure. Uh, which makes you use 2 PP instead of 1 PP for every move you use on it. Which kind of sucks. Um, its moveset is Fire Blast, Sacred Fire, Sunny Day, and. Oh, I thought it was the move was. Extra Sensory, that's the one. Um, Sacred Fire is actually its uh, trademark move. Uh, does a ton of damage and is actually 50% chance of causing a burn, which is the most of any fire type move that uh, can cause the status out effect. Anything else is usually like between 10 and 30. Um, a fun fact even though Sacred Fire looks like it's a special move, it's actually classed as a physical move. Uh, especially jarring considering that Ho Ho's best uh, stat is actually its physical attack. So, yeah. When I say that Sacred Fire hurts like a truck, it really does hurt like a truck. So uh, I've already got uh, Ho down to its uh, to catching it. Unfortunately, I don't get to use Hypnosis this turn because uh, Owlish has kind of died to Sacred Fire. Um, the plan here was um, try and get it to as far as it can with Owlish. So if Owlish just dies. Uh, weaken it with Gummy or SP uh, Umbreon even with uh, Gummy or Rascal since uh, they can tank uh, any of the hits that uh, Ho can do. I mean, uh, Gummy can resist Sacred Fire and Fire Blast, whilst um, Espeon can uh, just uh, tank the hits from Sacred Fire and Fire Blast, and he's also immune to uh, Extra Sensory. So while Gummyar S Umbreon is out, I keep saying it's Espeon, it's not, it's Umbreon, a rascal. So while they're out, I'm going to just spend a couple of turns uh, healing, uh, reviving Gowlicious, healing it to full health, and then switching it out, anticipating that it might do something stupid like you Sunny Day again, whilst the sun's already out. Um, I think this turn it uses Fire Blast or something. Yeah, I called it Fire Blast. Um, eventually, I wish this actually gets burned to um, Sacred Fire. And uh, what I had to do with that, I just I just let him in. This sort of like I'm gonna wait until he's like critical health and then uh, thing thing uh, fully restore his way. I've got the I got the one full restore in the uh, Bell Tower as I was going through. Find to sight in the previous part. But uh, yeah, um, now it's asleep. I'm gonna start checking ultra balls. This is probably about gonna take about seven minutes, really, of just me checking ultra balls, hoping it uh, doesn't wake up and putting it back to sleep as necessary. Uh, pressure kind of sucks if you're using um, something like hypnosis because hypnosis, uh, without using any PP ups, only has uh, 20 PP. Which means when you're using something with pressure, um, you've only got 10 opportunities. And the accuracy of hypnosis is terrible. Um, I personally would rather have something with paralysis when I'm catching legendary Pokemon, such as. Uh, well, I used, to, I used to bring an electric Pokemon with me on my journey, so something with Thunder Wave is probably the best uh, choice since. Uh, I just any move that guarantees paralysis, it's actually the most accurate. Uh, the only problem is, is that it doesn't actually work on ground type enemies, so uh, yeah, you kind of uh, so well against the uh, Landorus in Generation 5. Kind of really needing to put it to sleep or uh, stun spore or something. And if you have something with compound, if you have a bug type Pokemon like Butterfree with compound eyes, uh, sleep powders, sleep powders are like faster options since. Uh, Accuracy. I think the accuracy of sleep powder in general is uh, a lot better than hypnosis. But with compound dies, it's more or less a guaranteed hit unless uh, you do something stupid. 
Um, same with Stun's bar. Um, he was where I was just got burned to um, Sacred Fire, so I'm just gonna let his H I'm just gonna let her HP drain. Uh, whilst I try and catch her up because it might go. I think there's a I think there's one point just before it to before I just gets into the rad or when it gets into the rad. I think it's about here actually. I don't know about using the like uh, the full restore now. But I said, you know what, I'm gonna chuck an ultra ball. Hopefully it'll catch. It shakes three times, it does not click. It was anguish. I'm like, oh what the hell game, you're not gonna let me have this. So at this point I gamble on uh, using the Floyd Star, hopefully it won't wake up and fire blast me back down to uh, yellow health. Because like I said, hypnosis trash accuracy. I think eventually it does wake up and I have to spend like five turns trying to put it back to sleep. Even though apparently using um, Sleep's the best way of uh, raising the catch rate of Pokemon, but uh, I think that's bollocks. Again, I prefer paralysis when I'm catching pokes. I mean, the only reason Aulicious uh, still has hypnosis is uh, for catching Pokemon. But, uh, again, the problem with hypnosis is that for five accuracy. Probably said that over and over, and everybody's got bored and probably turned the video off. So uh, who cares, right? I'm just talking to myself in a crazy manner. Um, I also really don't actually have anything to say. All I'm doing now is uh, hypnosis, chuck pug balls, uh, lot of rinse repeat until it's caught around the 10 minute mark. So, and. I'll be honest, I don't really actually have anything else I want to talk about. Like, I want to. don't really want to rant about anything. I don't really. Uh, want to complain about stuff. Mm. So, yeah, I'm just here just talking and. wow. Oh, I woke up again. I have to put it to sleep. I'm just going to take the breast of my PP. I mean, I do actually have ethers and elixirs, but uh, I don't like—I don't really like using those in battle. I'd rather use those outside of battle, uh, to, like, to heal up between fights. Uh, particularly once we're in fights with the elite four, uh, I like—I like using my elixirs uh, then, main, mainly on stuff with low PP like ice beam and stuff like that. But I don't actually have an Ice Beam TM because you can only get that in the game corner. And I'm not too fond of the game corner because I'm, just, I'm uh, absolutely shit at Minesweeper. I mean, I could always hack them in, but ugh, people will just accuse you of being a dirty cheater. So, yeah, that's not that great. I also undenied about maybe attacking it again, but to the previous attempt, I actually went through with that idea and uh, kind of fell through. <laughs> but eventually, I persist and just in a couple of minutes' time, then I will catch Ho and I'll be happy and wary and I can get off this tower. And I can actually proceed with the Pokemon League to kick the Elite Four's ass. Because that's more a lot more interesting than this at the this sort of commentary at the moment. I should probably already realise this is post commentary and so which is kind of why I'm not really having much to talk about at all. Again, uh Alicia's gets its ass kicked, it's at the red hell. I think this is actually where I catch it. I remember Alicia just being at critical health uh, after I caught it, and po probably uh, doing what I did after was probably a mean thing to do if I did it in real life. Um, the poor things got to bass and bruised by this legendary Pokemon, and then yeah, I'm asking it to fly back home to do back time. Um, yeah. 
just something to think about. Also one thing about this hollow, it will always be holding a sacred ash. I uh, know what the sacred ash will do is uh, it actually revives every Pokemon in your current team. But it's the, it's the only one you actually have ever, so uh, use it sparingly. I don't really use it at all, I just like Hollow Keeper. Uh, Hollow is not getting it named because uh, it doesn't need one. Uh, but if you, I believe if you kill it or if you capture it, if you beat the Elite Four, I think it comes back again, but. So, uh, usually I treat it to all the Pokemon in this game as, uh, like uh, most Pokemon legendaries, you just, uh, uh, you only have one shot at catching it. But anyway, you can talk to the Kimono girls, they'll just say, uh, you did a great job, say hi to Professor Arm and stuff. Uh, I believe in the original Gold and Silver, you actually have to escape rope out here, but, uh, this generation you can fly. Uh, I decided to do that on my uh, almost dead Owlicious, which is probably not the best thing to do in real life. I should have just used the escape rope and healed up before flying. But I don't really need to because there's actually a heal point right here with the Professor Realm who I actually need to talk to. Uh, oh, hi. Uh, the Kimono Girls said hi and I cut ho, oh, I cut a legendary Pokemon. Isn't that pretty great? And he tells you, well, you know what, you go take on the Pokemon League to kick your Elite Four's ass, and here's where you need to go to get that. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to heal up now, and in the next part, we'll be going towards the uh, Victory Road and the Elite Four. Uh, so until then guys, I will see you later. Ciao!